Introducing first, from Hollywood, California, weighing 230 pounds, Goldie Rogers. His opponent, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing 242 pounds, Johnny Bussa Weaver. The referee, Fred Atkins. It's going to be tough not to spend a word or two describing the sartorial splendor of Goldie Rogers from Hollywood, California, with replete with his shades on and uh, his golden locks and his metallic purple jacket. Ooh. Well, he's in no hurry to get this one started. I don't know whether he's time. Removing that jacket, you know, we haven't seen Goldie Rogers. That, that must be close to two years since the last time we saw him here on Maple Leaf Wrestling. And uh, I heard someone uh, make the remark earlier in the dressing room. They asked where he had been. He said, well, I've been out on the West Coast. I figured I'd give everybody in the East a break and uh, make a tour through this area once again. And he's certainly going to have his hands full here today. Well, with Johnny Buzzsaw Weaver. Oh, and I'll tell you. Mr. Weaver is not impressed with the jacket, the yellow, the yellow trunks, or what have you. He goes right to work and introduces him to the turnbuckle. And I'll tell you, Goldie Rogers has got himself some work cut out here against Johnny Buzzsaw Weaver. Fred Atkins keeps an eye on the proceedings, and our proceedings here will allow Billy to tell us about some upcoming matches in our viewing area. On Monday, April the 2nd at 8 p.m., Maple Leaf Wrestling returns to the Brantford Civic Center featuring Jay Youngblood, Rufus R. Jones, and all the other stars of Maple Leaf Wrestling. And on Sunday, April the 1st at 7.30 p.m. in Toronto's Maple Leaf Gardens, promoter Jack Tunney has come up with another spectacular card. You'll see such stars as Gary Royal, Brickhouse Brown, Goldie Rogers, Bob Marcus, Sweet Hanson, Nick DiCarlo. In tag action, Jay Youngblood and Johnny Weaver take on the K Brothers. In a North American title match, Buddy Hart goes up against Leo Burke. And finally, a captain's match. The Assassins and Paul Jones go against Handsome Jimmy, the Boogie Woogie Man, Dory Funk Jr., and Rufus R. Jones. Remember, this great card all takes place on Sunday, April the 1st, 7.30 p.m. in Toronto's Maple Leaf Gardens. working on the arm of Goldie Rogers and doing a heck of a job here. This is uh, a little hair pulling there. Fred Atkins not going to tolerate that or anything else that isn't uh, strictly according to Hoyle. More hair pulling. The man from Hollywood. He's, uh, well, he pays a lot of attention to hair. Oh, lifts a knee for the buzzsaw. Boy, that got his attention, I'll tell you. Woo. Uh, he caught Weaver right in the midsection with that knee, and it took the wind out of John. And now Goldie Rogers turning it on. However, Johnny Weaver coming back. Takes Goldie Rogers, fly mares him to the mat, picks him up by the air, and now rams Rogers into that top turnbuckle. And he's setting him up, Mike, for that bulldog headlock. Up and down he goes. Rolls. Look out. Rogers over, goes for the pin, and this one's all over. He's got three of them just like that. We'll get the official results from Norm Kimber. The leader of the match, Johnny Weaver. 